and I want to just continue with where we're going with Prelude. In the last movie we talked about ingesting, I now want to show you about subclipping. The idea that you're necessarily forced to wait for Premiere Pro to subclip is kind of silly, especially if you're out in the field. And Prelude's a great tool to make quick subclips. I'm going to go ahead here. I want you to see that I've got a subclip button here. This is number one. The number one key on your keyboard will do this. I'm going to go ahead, load up a clip, hit play. I'm going to tap the one to start the subclip, name it, and I'll call this something like Sky. And then I'll hit the return key to say I'm done typing, and then O for out point. So play, one, sky, return key, O for out point. And that's a sky subclip using all the things you currently know. I'm going to go ahead and say use my Grav key. It, everything becomes nice and large. This is great for if you have an interview. It makes it very easy for you to go through and look at the sound bites for it. I'm going to go ahead and bring this back. When I hit save, command S, control S on a PC, when I say save, you'll see that the sky clip has shown up. I'm going to go ahead here, grab a second clip. I'll go ahead, do the same thing, play, one, uh, set up, and I'll do an out point. That out point was a little light, no big deal. I can just go ahead and change that out point. Notice I can add comments in here as well, as well as shift the in and out points if I needed to. I'll do another save. On this last clip here, I'm going to make two subclips. So we'll do one here, where I'm just going to hit the number one. I'll hit the out point. Whoops, I forgot to do the subclip. With it selected, I can go up to the marker inspector and rename that. We'll call this cave. And then I'll go a little bit later in the same clip. I'll start the subclip manually with a button. I'll name it and I'll call this maybe push in on rocks. Enter key again. And then a little bit later I'll put an out point. Hit one more time save and you can see I have all these subclips. Now having them is really great. I can go ahead here, select the, the card that I did before this, this bin and I can say send to Premiere Pro. We come back to Premiere Pro, we get a second copy of it. And you can see now I've got those subclips here waiting for me, ready to go. There's one more piece here, and it's the idea that I can build a rough cut. Now for this, I'm going to say New Rough Cut here under the File menu, Command N, Control N on a, on a PC. But I also have the ability, if I wanted to, to switch over to this Rough Cut workspace. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. Let's do a New Rough Cut. And I'll call, it wants me to put this somewhere. I'm going to put this on the desktop and I'm just going to say something like basic desert footage. And with this selected, I'll double click and switch Premiere Pro, switch Prelude over to Rough Cut. The Rough Cut side of Prelude isn't really meant for real editorial. You're able to mostly just drag a clip in and it comes to the basic timeline here. You're able to also grab several clips or individual clips. For example, I'm going to take my sub clips here and I can drag them and put them beginning or end. And you can see as they come into the timeline. Maybe I'll take my cave shot here and put it in between. I've got a rough cut here. I'm going to save that. And one more time I'm going to select. This time I'll select just the rough cut and I'll say file menu, send just that to Premiere Pro. Here's my rough cut called Basic Desert. And when I double click on it, you can see there are my files, there are my items in the exact order, and as a beautiful thing, the clips that were by themselves are just named, but the ones that were subclipped that had named subclips, you can see the name of the clip dot cave, the name of it dot sky. This is a great workflow back and forth with Premiere Pro and Prelude. Real great use of this would be out in the field. You can make your mark your subclips. You can go ahead and uh, break out some of your sound bites. You could even string together a basic set of shots for an editor. When you come back, you could fire up Premiere Pro and then send those items over. So there's subclips and rough cuts with Adobe Prelude and Premiere Pro.